Do you like anime? Do you like stickers? If the answer to either of those questions were yes, or you're just an otaku like me, go check out sukawaii.com. Here, you can look at all of these beautiful stickers and other anime merch and accessories. They've got My Hero Academia. They've got Seven Deadly Sins. They've got Jujutsu Kaisen. They've even got little cuties like this. Who is that? I don't know, but I'm buying them. I bought some myself and they're amazing and adorable. Here, look, using the link in the description below, use promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. That's promo code Bizarre 5 for 5% off of your purchase. I mean seriously, look how cute! Monster. An Attack on Titan X Meat Reader fanfic by Mokamaki. Chapter 30. Just as I thought, my strings have trapped Annie. This time, I won't let you go. I began to pull back, which caused the strings to go deeper into Annie's body. She roared in pain. Blood began to drip on the ground. Everyone in the area was watching this scene unfold. I didn't care at the moment, I just needed to hold Annie down for a few minutes until Aaron got up. Soldiers came zipping through the area, but they didn't help me with Annie at all. Instead, they watched in slight awe as my bloody strings were able to hold her back. I began to grow weary. Why isn't anyone helping me? Why are they all just staring? I don't exactly plan on killing her this time. I pulled a little harder, causing the strings to go deeper. I smirked under my muzzle. This is good. If I just hold her back for a few more seconds, maybe Aaron could come up and help me with the rest. Or so I thought. Annie began to pull back from the strings, catching me off guard completely. She tugged again, which pulled me back. She was fighting through the strings. How? How was this possible? She's supposed to be trapped. I began to tug back, trying to keep Annie stable, but she was putting up a fight. Suddenly, I felt a sharp pain in my hand. I gasped slightly and looked to see one of the bloody strings. My eyes widened. This is bad. This is bad. I need help. She's going to break free. Your name? I heard a voice from behind me. I looked to see Armin giving me a look of concern. My eyes pleaded for him to help me, but he didn't catch on. Another snap. I let out a slight groan in pain. Please, someone help me. Annie continued to tug as more strings began to snap. With each snap, I felt more pain, which caused me to lose focus. I can't hold her much longer. Aaron, where are you? Your name, what's wrong? Armin shouted. And with that, a final snap was heard. Annie was now free and I got flown backward. Armin immediately caught me in his arms. I let out loud breaths as blood continued to drip from my hand. Ugh, it hurts. Your name? Your name? Armin tried to get my attention. I clenched my bloody fist and hissed silently in pain. I failed. I couldn't do it. How was she able to break through them? Was it because I let my guard down? I was able to trap her easily the first time. How could she break free this time? Useless questions that would never be answered. I shook my head. There's no point in wallowing at your own failure. I quickly got up and zipped off in my ODM gear. I need to catch up with her. I need to at least try again. But would it even work? I saw Aaron charging after Annie at full speed. I sighed in relief. At least I was able to buy time for Aaron to catch up with her. Annie stopped by the walls and grew long claw-like fingernails. She ducked through them and began to climb her way up the walls. I immediately stopped. She's getting away. Come on, your name Think! Think! Can you somehow trap her when she's climbing? I lifted up my hand again, only for a sharp pain to go through it. I let out a small grunt. Uh, no, it won't work. Why? Why won't it work? Something fast zipped towards Annie, cutting at her fingers. I looked up to find that it was Mikasa. Having no fingers, Annie fell down the wall, but not before Aaron grabbed her and started to eat at her nape. Wait, this wasn't part of the plan. Aaron pulled something out of Annie's nape, which looked to be Annie's human body trapped inside a crystal. Aaron tried to bite down on it, but his try seemed not to be working. Eventually, Levi came out of nowhere and cut him out. I blinked a couple of times to process what happened. Did we basically defeat the female titan? 
We technically got Annie, so this is a win. I immediately zipped down to go check if Aaron was alright. It wasn't until a loud crumble took my attention. I looked up to find pieces of the wall crumbling down. As the pieces of the wall crumbled, something inside made my heart drop. There was a huge titan face in it. I felt my heart beat rapidly as I stared up at the face with wide eyes. How? Why is there a... I could tell I wasn't the only one seeing this. My eyes slightly narrowed at the titan's face. I sniffed the air. I gasped slightly. Why did this titan smell familiar? I felt a throbbing pain in my head as I continued to stare at the large titan. Where? Where have I seen this face before? I, I remember seeing something like this way before, but from where? And when? My head began to throb as I tried to think of something that might be connected toward this, but nothing. My memories were blank. But I know I've seen this before. I clutched my head, trying to stop the throbbing. Oh, my head. I began to sway. I feel a little woozy. I swayed back and forth a little more before I completely blacked out, a memory finally coming to mind. I was staring at something that resembled the same face I saw. I blinked my eyes open to find myself in some kind of room. There was no one around, and I was completely alone. So, you're finally awake. Took you long enough. I turned my head slightly to find Captain Levi staring boredly down at me. What's he doing here? You passed out moments before. Anjay suggested it might have been from blood loss. If only she knew. I slowly sat up, but immediately regretted it as my head started throbbing again. Idiot. Don't sit up yet. You're still lightheaded. He came around my bed. Here. He placed something on my lap. Dinner? I've put up my time to bring you dinner. Might as well eat it. I stared at him with curiosity. Why is he being so nice to me? I immediately drank a cup of water first and felt the throbbing pain in my head go away. How's your hand doing? I didn't know what he meant by my hand until I realized. Oh no. Please don't tell me he witnessed using my power, did he? I lifted up my right hand, seeing it was neatly bandaged. I moved it a couple of times. It didn't hurt, so it must have healed. I began to unwrap the bandages, which set Levi off. What the hell are you doing? You're not fully healed. I ignored his harsh words and continued to unwrap them. Once done, I lifted my hand to find all the blood gone and the claw marks gone as well. Levi leaned over to see what I was looking at. His eyes slightly widened. What the hell? He gently took my hand to examine the cut. Oops. He doesn't know I can heal myself too. Four Eyes is going to throw a fit if she finds out about this. He muttered. I then just realized. Where's Aaron? What happened to him? Is he okay? If you're worried about the Titan boy, he's fine. He's resting in the other room. He explained. Ah, that makes sense. I then realized that Levi's hand was still on mine, but this time he was slightly holding it. He was somewhat avoiding eye contact with me, but I could see the side of his face. I'm sorry I didn't get to say this sooner, but... His hand slightly gripped mine. What? Oh no, I feel awkward. I'm grateful that you and Aaron made it out alright. His cheeks were tinted with a light blush. I tilted my head to the side. It didn't seem to help the situation. Damn it. He placed his hand over his eyes. What the hell are you doing to me? I stared at him for a few moments before leaning in closer. The tip of my nose came in contact with his cheek. He slightly flinched back, causing my cheek to make contact with his. He removed his hand from his face, and I began to muzzle my cheek against his. It felt warm. I thought my ears deceived me when I heard him slightly chuckle. <laughs> you brat. He placed his hand on my hair and slightly rubbed it. I could have sworn I saw a tiny smile on his face. Of course, that made my eyes widen. Did I do that? I did a little victory dance in my head until he interrupted it with a question I was not comfortable with and can't even ask. Now, mind telling me what was that shit you pulled back there? 
Hope you weebs enjoyed chapter 30 of Monster, the Attack on Titan X Mute Reader fanfic by Mokamaki. If you want to check out the original, feel free to do so by clicking the link at the bottom of the description below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and leave a comment down below. This is actually the end of the first season, so next time we'll pick up on the second season. But anyways, that's enough for me. My name is Bizarre, and I'll see you weebs in the next video. Cue the outro.